Let's read in Luke. Chapter 5 verse 1. To 3. Haravuga ngo Yesu yari ahagaze mu kibaya cy'inyanja ya Geneze Genezareth nuko abantu benshi bamubyiganaho ngo bumve ijambo ry'Imana abona amato abiri atsitse ku ngombe y'inyanja ariko abarobyi bari bayavuyemo bamesa inshundura zabo yikira mu bwato bumwe bwari bwa Simon amusaba kubutsuraho ngo buve ku ngombe yicara yigisha abantu ari mu bwato amen so it was that the multitude pressed about him to hear the word of God that he stood by the lake of Genesaret and saw two boats standing by the lake. But the fishermen had gone from them and were washing their nets. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the multitude from the boat. <laughs> We're going to discuss with the word of God. Kuko, mubizi, as you all know, it is an habit. We have a theme, a yearly theme. And the one for the quarter. Another one for the month. And then we have weekly theme. If I don't delay on that, this week you have this word that says, Learn Jesus, your mind or your wisdom, and you'll see you have a miracle. This is the word we'll be discussing about. This word, it is a little bit complicated. It is complicated to comprehend, to explain. It is really complicated. Unless the Spirit of God comes. Our senior pastor, I just wondered how he came with this theme of lending our wisdom. And then I took time thinking of meditating on it. And I was wondering, why didn't he say that, lend Jesus your mouth? Or maybe your mind? Or maybe your eye, eyes? I know you are wise, you know a lot. But I'm going to top it up. Let's know one of you think that I brought some new things. I'm just coming to top up on it what is you know. I had three things from it. The first one is to learn Jesus, our wisdom. And then we will learn about what kind of intelligence are we going to learn to the, G to the Lord Jesus. I will talk about the types of people of having this wisdom. And then I will talk about why it is important. And then we will talk about the wisdom from above. When does it come to us? And then I realized, oh, not, not another word. To see a miracle from God. And then, then, when your heart will comprehend. Because we'll be about to get to a miracle. And then people are always longing for miracles. You will comprehend. How do we explain to land? I kept on thinking of it. How come do we, we, if we explain it, you will understand the value Ariko of your wisdom, but to learn wisdom, it is as if we are giving it out. Utiza, to learn, to lend the wisdom to Jesus, it is to give yourself, to surrender. It is to surrender yourself to him. For if you give Jesus your wisdom, there is nothing else you will withheld. Nirgyo 
This is the most complicated word I can say. Whenever you give a thing to one man, you are giving it to be used. In another word, you will not use the things you have given out. When you give it out, it is given to the owner to use it in the way, their own ways. There is a song that says, This is my way of singing. I've given you my heart. I have given you my heart to lead it. That's a level we haven't yet attained. We haven't yet reached that level. We command our wisdom. Jesus is not commanding it. And I will prove it. Somehow, if you have given even a little, it, adds, it is going to be a half of it. Well, because the things of the spirit, the things of the spirit is complicated. They are heavy. No one who knows what we're going to do is if someone would ask you to kneel down, all of you, are we going to? We've come to pray, all of us. If I request you to pray, to, to, to kneel down, one will ask themselves, why are we going to kneel down? They're starting again. What is he going to bring to us? We were not kneeling before. This is something that will just run into your mind. And it is our matter. We say that we have given our things to the Lord Jesus. But still we, qu we question it. If you check our minds. You will ask yourself what you do. Is it from the Lord? This is, this is a sermon that will not have hallelujah. There is no hallelujah tonight. Jacobo, James, James chapter 1 verse 5. We're going to talk about the four kind of wisdom. It is in the Bible. It is in the Bible. Where is the person who reads for us? Has he shifted? Has he shifted? Yakobo, I just chamber mungwa gatano. Yego. Ariko ni ba hariho mono uvuze ubge uvuze ubge nje. Avu sabi mana iha ba nuvo se iti mana iti shama kandi azavu habga. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives it to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. If there is one who lacks wisdom, if you check about the degrees we have, if I tell you that you are not wise, wouldn't be a quarrel between us? And this is our matter I do have with you. 
we have issues with you to tell you that this is not right and you comprehend. Whenever they will tell you that this is foolish, you will never accept. The first wisdom. Genesis 2.16 The kind of wisdom we are born with. We have the wisdom that the Lord provided when he created man and breathed on him. There is a knowledge or a wisdom that is in natural. Uiteka imana iramutegeka iti ku giti cyose cyo muri ingobyi uje urya imbuto zacyo uko ushaka mu rwa 17 ariko igiti cy'ubwenge bumenyesha ikiza n'ikibi ntuzakiryeho kuko umunsi wakiriyeho no gupfa uzapfa and the lord god commanded the man saying of every three of the garden you may freely eat but one of the three of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat for in the day that you eat of it you shall surely die this wisdom this knowledge has three things you can add your fourth and fifth but i will speak about these three it gives us the right to choose the, 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 the wisdom we are born with. It gives the right to choose. That's one. Secondly, it gives us to name all things. This wisdom, this knowledge, it is the one that God told Adam after creating all animals. He brought all of them before him and then he told him to name it. If there is anything that we call that has no name in the Bible, it is from the knowledge, the wisdom given by the Lord. This the Lord has created with us. It gives us the right to choose. God told Adam, and he said you shall not eat on these roots. For if you eat it, surely you will die. If you you don't, you will not die. This does not require the Holy Spirit. This does not require prayers. You, you know if someone stands in the road, in the, he will get going, he's going to be knocked by the car. Isn't it? Sure. You who drive. You have these lessons, and they give you the driving lessons, and they told you the one way and or the highway. They tell you of the traffic lights. Does it require prayers? <laughs> so it requires knowledge. I don't want this to be lent to the Lord Jesus. Not about this. No. Jesus does not use the, your mind and your, your brain of, of driving, of plowing, of preparing all your projects. That is what we, have, we were given before. Jesus will never use that kind of word. He will never use it because it's tricky and it's cunning. Are we together? That's not possible. When you are at that level, no matter how you speak, he will never hear you. You are in the first level of knowledge. And that level put Adam and Eve to fall. This one in my mind goes against what God wants. Genesis 2, 
Genesis 2:19. Asome vuba. Uiteka Imana irema mu butaka amatungo yose n'inyamaswa zo mu ishyamba zose n'inyoni nibisiga byo mu kirere byose ibizanira uwo muntu ngo abyite uko abyita ame ime o imenye uko abyita kandi uko uwo muntu yise ikintu cyose gifite ubugingo abari abari ryo riba izina ryacyo out of the ground the Lord formed every beast of the field and every bird of the air and brought them to Adam to see what he, he would call them and whatever Adam called each living creature, that was its name. Haven't you seen how people boast and brag that they are great? <laughs> all the animals, all the insects that we learned at our schools, it is Adam who named them. None of it were called after you. None. And then people will say they are great. The way we know things. We are only learning what others learned before us. A great person is he who thought about how to put a microphone. Not having any idea or any pattern. I will come back to it. Some of them will brag thinking they are mighty, not knowing where it is from. Third, this wisdom, this knowledge is the one Satan uses, the natural one. It is the, the, the field of Satan. God told them, if you eat unto these three, you shall die. And then the serpent came and said, you not die. We are saying that this is evil. And another one will come and tell you this is not evil. Isn't it? One pastor would say this is not right. Another one will come and say no. Let us learn about the wisdom of God. This will enable you to discover what others are saying. When you have the wisdom of God in you, you will discover or discern whoever was standing before you. And you will know if it is right or wrong. The second wisdom or knowledge is the secular one or the world one. It is the wisdom of this world. Read the word of God. First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20. Bese none umunyabwenge ari he? Umwanditsi ari he? Umunyempara umunyempaka wo muri iki gihe ari he? Ubwenge bw'isi Imana ntiyabuhinduye ubupfu. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this age? Has not God made the foolish the wisdom of this world? Let's go together. This is the word of God, right? Can we have the version? Mm. Bisi umunyabwenge bimumariye iki? 
umunyabwenge bimumariye iki ese umwigisha amategeko bimumariye iki mbese inyoza mu mpaka z'iki gihe iyo bihimariye iki mbese aho ubwenge bw'isi imana nti yabuhinduye ubupfu aho ni juhavuze Ubwenge bw'iyisi imana yabuhinduye ubupfu God has made it foolish <laughs> This is so sweet Ariko ni gitangaza woshaka ukwikisha bugufi ubwenge bw'iyisi imana yabuhinduye ubupfu If I were you I would just be humble because the wisdom of this world the Lord made it foolish abantu bado bashaka ngo dusobanure byinshi z'ubwenge twarwa tukavuga ibitari byo people want us to explain a lot of things and we are confused ikinyarwanda cyavuze neza ngo ubwenge bw'iyisi the kinyarwanda version say that the wisdom of this world gose 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 ubusinga zinze hamwe all of it all the things that you know imana nyiribije the lord made imana nyirubwenge the lord of imana nyiribaraga the lord of mind imana nyirikwitegereza nokugenzura the god who controls and sees everything and when we say his word he say he made it vain it is void I will tell you why it is this way. Nima umuntu avuga ngo tabyara ngo ariko ngo azatunga imbwa ngo itsimbura umwana ubwo nubwenge. If one don't want to have a baby, they don't want to deliver and they would just say that they will tame their dogs in their homes. Is this wisdom? Niba umuntu avuga ngo arambiwe kuba umugore ngo arashaka kuba umugabo ubwo nubwenge si ubupfu If one is tired of being the gender they are and be decide to become trans is it wisdom Niba umuntu avuga ngo arambiwe no kwambara ngo yambara ubusa si ubupfu If one says they don't want any any things to wear they want to go nude is it wisdom Just let them. Wa wonde ngi kifugisa na bana. The one who say a dead body is look, look like a human. How come? Kubera ki twumva ubwenge bw'isi kwa ari bwo buri imbere kandi imana yaravuze ngo nubupfu. How can you think that the wisdom of this world is in advance while God said it is foolishness? Why do you, we tend to comprehend or to follow the wisdom of this world yet the word of God says otherwise? There is no hallelujah today. Ubu bwenge ndi bwemera ibyimana na gato ya ndi buza bwemera ibyimana. This kind of wisdom will never comprehend what is from God. Ubu bwenge buza bunyuranya n'ibyimana. This goes against the wisdom of God. Iteka ryose 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 ubu bwenge bw'isi ndi buza buhurana. All the times every time this kind of wisdom will never go with God's wisdom. It does not comprehend the spiritual realm. It doesn't comprehend the power and the might of God all the time it goes against what is from God that's the wisdom of the world then when they speak they wonder if they studied did they study where did he go can we utter such things these are these people who say so
You're bragging your muscles and you think you're so wise. While the things of God, you're failing it. You're not going to make it. Because the wisdom of the world cannot receive the things of heaven. And we do not lend it to the Lord. We can't. We can't. <laughs> the wisdom with physics, with anatomy, it serves somewhere. True. You go in that company, in that factory. But at Jesus, a person with a PhD saying that only a cat can live in their homes. A cat? <laughs> the wisdom of the world will only Tamus, show you the Tamus, things of this There is no day they will ask you to kneel down but they will give you to watch on series for three or four hours. And then we, are Christ, we have Christians who are standing in their roles. In heaven? In heaven? They lied to you. <laughs> they were saying, if they told you that you will reach the heaven when you are clothing with your, your sheets one to another, you will never make it to There is a writer who writes the line, the way to heaven is very narrow. It is so narrow when you, go, when you do like this, not, it is like this. Amen. Amen. If you want to go in a wide way, it will be different from the wisdom Jesus uses. When you accept to be loved by Jesus, he takes you to the way he wants you to get into. And it is narrow. You are longing for a miracle from where? Receive a miracle and you, you receive from where? When you still have the wisdom of this world, how come? You are receiving a miracle that is from outside, not the God's one. It is not going to be from God. Do you think everyone that is wealthy, their money is clean? Others will have it from occultism. You don't know, maybe. Haven't you heard about the people who say that they had money from hell? Is it new to you? <laughs> I would wonder if you do not know and I would tell you on Thursday. If you don't surrender to the Lord sometimes you go and search money from him. If you are seated and you are not led by the Lord and God is now leading your wisdom and he's not leading it. You are only seated. What are you doing? Third wisdom. I am just overpassing to others, but you are waiting for some crucial. Are we together? Are we together? The people there, do you hear me? Do 
to you when we get to heaven are you going to be by that far we need to wonder about it right Do you know that men? Do you know there are some people who refuse to be seated or ushered? What, <laughs> what kind of wisdom is that? <laughs> We've prepared ushers. They are in the sanctuary. And their role is to make you sit. There is no other place I have seen that is complicated no, as the house of the Lord. That's a place where you don't see discipline in people. <laughs> that's the only place where people will come and you will wonder from where they are coming from they will bring a pastor they will make him sit and he will sit and then when they bring a Christian he will refuse what is that? If someone comes to visit you, would they sit wherever? They just come into your house and then they enter in your bedroom. Will you let them? No. Why don't you grow? Kindly grow. Be mature. Know what is happening in the house of the Lord. Mm. I've come. <laughs> <laughs>
you don't want to be ushered in a sanctuary. <laughs> Is it your home? Is this your place? <laughs> If you want to sit wherever you want to sit, go <laughs> home. Jamuri Catholic. Jamuri Catholic, I'm not going to be here. Jai. Hano, Hano have a protocol. He's here. Shakir. Receive. Cain was wicked. Cain was wicked with a beast. People who are killing others. Thinking they are using wisdom when they are beast. And people are amazed that they are Yes, they started. But they have the beast wisdom. Here you know or discover how the devil uses people. This is the battlefield of the devil. He transforms you. When you receive the spirit of Satan, he, made, he changes your mind. They say it is beast made. People who tamed folks. You are after your forks and then look for uh, pastures and you look for water and these cows you will take flies away not to come on them and then in the evening you come back home when you get home when you are about to milk it it will kick you despite everything you did for it the whole day look at that <laughs> wisdom the writer writes that you are full and then you are kicking your God I will take my five minutes. I will take it. You bear with me. Is it it? Will you bear with me? Can we glorify Hallelujah. God? Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> the fourth wisdom. The fourth the fourth, the fourth wisdom it is from heaven. I will talk about the quality of the kind of wisdom. The wisdom that the Lord wants us to have. But I read the word of God. He told us if you lack wisdom. Because we are not born with it. And we don't learn it. We cannot have it in the world. Even in Europe it's not there. 
Having great This kind of wisdom sometimes But the Bible says if you like it, ask it Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you like this kind of wisdom, ask for it. It. There are people who do not have it. True. You pray for it. You can ask for it. And one is in the answer. If one lacks wisdom, pray for it, it will be granted. This is what was made when Solomon spoke to the Lord. The Lord asked him in his dreams, What do you want from me? He had seen his heart. He had seen his hurts. And he checked on him. And then he said, Ask and I will give you. What did he ask from? He asked from wisdom. Do you think the things he had, he had no wisdom? He had the wisdom, but not the wisdom of heaven. But the normal wisdom, he had it. Is it? He had an ordinary wisdom and knowledge. But when he got before the Lord and he said, Oh God, I ask for your wisdom. You've given me everything. You've given me to rule. I am blessed. There is nothing you took from me. I was a despised person. But you trust me, oh God. You gave me to lead all this nation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is one thing I pray for. Give me wisdom. Your wisdom that is from you. I have no wisdom from you, God. I have no wisdom from you, God. When you realize that you don't have it, you are on a higher level. Amen. Amen. When you take down your wisdom and pray for the wisdom of God, and God said, because you did not ask for your enemies to die, and you did not ask for wealth, if I call you tonight, right now if I call you, the way you don't want, and Jesus will appear to you, and then ask you to pray for one thing you want, what will you ask? Will you ask for sure wisdom? You will just pray and say, oh my God, make me a great person. You leader. Solomon said, give me wisdom. And then the Lord said, you've asked for a major thing. Do you know how many enemies you have? Do you know the enemies you have around you? Do you know the, you? You know the people who fight against you? Do you know the enemies that are surrounding you? Do you know what the... Do you know I have one enemy? You don't ask me for money. You don't ask me for silver. And you are asking for wisdom? And then he say, I am granting it to you. And the things you never asked for. This is the only place where God says the only things that you did not ask for. When you desire to have the wisdom of God, God will give everything else with you. The reason why you are praying, oh Jesus, oh Lord, I am showing you my enemies, oh God. If you, if you don't need enemies, die. That's the, the quick answer. <laughs> you don't want people to fight against you? Why did you why why are you here or alive? A person will come and tell you the Lord is killing all of the enemies. The greater enemy we have is Satan. Can he take him away? 
The Bible says he is the king, the prince of this world. And this world is Satan. God is commanding the spirit. Even the realm of the, the, the air realms, he is the one commanding it. And now they are dying. They are dying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Now all the enemies are resurrecting and you think they are dead. <laughs> if one time they will tell you that the Satan is dead, just clap and shout of joy. But God will rescue from one issue, but another one will come. Tomorrow we'll we'll pray pray man, and then we'll pray to the we'll Lord. Lord. It is going to solve it. And that's the rule we'll of the life. And the life is going to carry on doing that. You are wondering we'll his weakness, his trials. It is not your sins. The Satan is there. And he is your enemy. They can summon us to the let me just read here so and then we carry on. on. The wisdom that the Lord wants us to have we read James 3.17 James 3.17 Yes, we read you will start, start from yourself and you will discover if you have that one. And if you don't have it, your homework is to pray for it. And God is ready to get it. When he gives it, it is simple to give it back to the Lord. For he is the one who gives us. I told you that there are two kinds of dogs. Two kinds of dogs. The first one, the coward is the one who refuses to the one who gave them. The second one, the second day when he asked from you, you it. the second coward, it is to request from he who denied things. is pure it is peaceable it is gentle willing to yield I will touch that very much it yields and you fail you don't know it you know that some people gives you advices but you do not go according to it. Sometimes when they tell you this is wrong, you say this is not what we... Where are you at? You will run after the world. You will run after it until you die. Another die will run until they eat until he dies. They will run after to eat until they die. You will never have the things of this world. Full of mercy. It's full of mercy. And good fruit. It bears good fruit. Without partiality. Without <laughs> Do you know we have Christians who do not greet others? How many fingers do you have? How many fingers do you have at your palms? And they five, even if they are seven, there are fingers though. And without, and without hypocrisy. 
Jesus. He doesn't have hypocrisy. They are greeting one another. After one minute, they mock them. That's not hypocrisy. It is. Yes, Ashim Mushumba. Doringo Hokubo. Yes, Ashim. We have some like that. Maybe you're not like that, but there, 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 at that place. <laughs> that is what is hidden, knows what is hidden in it. Let's longer for the wisdom of God. And then we will have it to lend it to the Lord. And then Jesus will use it. And we will have the miracles of the Lord. May the Lord bless you. Amen.